make sure to join the Discord server and become part of the community. We have roles that people can assign and lists of tutorials from old videos. Join now, the link is in the description. Go, 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 hee <laughs> Welcome back. Today we'll be showing you guys how to make a Spigot 1.17 Minecraft server. This, this is the file you'll need uh, to create this file. You will need to probably follow the the video in the description for the video that I made like yesterday uh, should pop up just now around now or if not you can just go to this page and make yourself the build tool because you're gonna have to build one spigot 1.17 or any other version of the server to get the updated one and yeah uh, since we have right now this spigot server uh, once you get to this point after you use the build tool from the last video you need, just need to create a new folder call it let's say minecraft server you can call it whatever the hell you want i'm going to call it minecraft server i'm going to put this into the file it's going to open up just so just like so and i'm just going to double click on it for now just double clicking on it i'm not doing anything else just let it do its little thing uh, for this it may tell you like uh, you have an outdated Java version. You're just going to have to go onto here, type in Java 16 Oracle. This will be also the link in the description. And you have to get a development kit right here and just download this. You just need Java 16 to run 1.17 servers. Now, for any other version of uh, Minecraft servers, you just need all, you just you can use Java 12, whatever you want, but for 1.17, you need a Java 16. Just Java 16, like here. But yeah, once it does this, you can make a new document. You can make a new text document. And in here, we just need to type in something. We just need to type in... We just need to type in this little thing. This will be also in the description if you can't be asked to type it out. You can remove this note GUI part on the end to make it a bit easier and then on here we just need to grab this and rename rename and just copy this name and just paste it in here so it runs the correct things in here we can make how much RAM the server is allowed to use I personally would recommend like 4 to 8 gigs so I'll type in well, let me just use it real quickly a calculator you can just you can just do one o two four times by how many, how much RAM you want. So I want let's say eight gigs of RAM. So we just have that number. We just put this number into here. Uh, right now, remove the little commas. We don't need the commas. Save it. Close this. And then file save as into that little that little document. Select all files. Rename this to, I don't know, like server.bat and then same. And then in here you'll see that little thing pop up with these little gears, I think that is. And we can delete this new document right here. Then we need to open up uh, eulet.txt and then here we just need to put in true. Remember, you must put in true, okay, accepting that you read the rules, obviously. Because you obviously read the rules. Link. Yeah, once you've done that, you just need to click on server.bat again. This will pop up this little black menu, which will now start loading the server from spigot 1.17. Then, okay. And it will crash, apparently. With the crash being failed to bind to port. This won't happen on yours. Since I am since I have a Microsoft server in the background, I just need to quickly check a bit, change this to that, let's just say. But you know, yours will normally just like run like normal. Nothing ever happened. You did not see that happen. Um, just close your eyes for a second. But yeah, you just need to. It will just load up like that. Like this. Just load up. It will make the world real quick, everything. And you just have to sit back and relax. It will make those little world files, everything. You can add plugins to the server, you know. I hope I'll put a link in the description where you can get plugins for the server. 
But yeah, it'll create the server real quick. And now we can technically join it already. We can go into Minecraft Launcher. And then we can go into here. Load up 1.17 because it's a 1.17 version of the server. Uh, in yours server, you'd no, you'd you'd type in. You'd go into multiplayer, direct connect. You would not type that in. You'd type in local host, put a colon, and then for you it would be two five five six five. That's what you would normally connect with. That's why you just got to type into the server address. Since I have a Microsoft server running in the background currently, I have to type in a different one. But you can get it from uh, looking in server properties in the Minecraft one and looking where it says uh, server port right here. You just copy this number here. For me, it's different from yours because I already have a Minecraft server in the background, like I said. You just click that, join host, and then you connect it to your server. So you connect it to your server right here. So you've connected to the server, and then you can do whatever the hell you want. If you want to op yourself, you just do slash. No, you don't even do a slash, you just do that. Type in your name, like that. And then you just made yourself server operator, and you can do game or creative, whatever you want. And that's how it would work. Currently, other people can't join your server, because that's not how it works. But yeah, currently people can't join your server, which is a bit sad to be honest. For that you need to enable your... You need to allow people to join you. To do that, you need to stop the server real quick. Just not like that. Stop the server. It'll close it. Everything. We need to go to server properties. Let me just close this one actually. We need to go to server properties and where it says server IP, you can just quickly do... Uh, CMD, type in CMD into there, it'll open, open up command prompt, you can just need to type in IP config and it'll pop up all of these numbers and then just look where your IPv4 address is, for me it's this number, it's this beautiful number and then just go into here, just paste that in there, save it then you see you'll say your default gateway, you just got to copy this IP and then paste it into your browser for me, this. Now, this is where the part where everyone's going to be different. Most people are going to be different. Most people will have different uh, routers, which will change everything, to be honest. So, for my for my EE router, we will just need to go to. We just need to use port forwarding. So you can like. So if you have a, like a BT router, you can like type in BT port forwarding, and you can search it for yourself. You know. Uh, but if, if you're on EE, you just go into port forwarding, you type in your password, which will be usually on the back, and then you can uh, you just have to create a new rule. For for you, it's going to be you can call it whatever you want. That doesn't matter. You, sometimes you have to show your sometimes you have to put in your device, not all the time. And then here you would normally type in two five five six five. Next one you put two five five six five. For the protocol, you pick, you pick TCP slash UDP, you click set, let me just select my device real quick, and you click add, save, obviously I already added it, so it won't add, but yeah, you just do that, and then it should look something like this probably, save it, and now, people should be able to join your server, by using this, okay. So you normally just go into here. You just type in your IP. What's my IP? You know, just put my IP, which will bring up this, and this will show you your IP. I'm not going to show you my IP, but you'll grab this IP. You just Control C it, and Control V it here. I'm just going to change it up so you can, I can show you what it means, what I'm trying to do. This is not obviously my IP right now. But this is what you you do. You put colon, and then whatever rule you put into your router, so two five five six five, and then you would send this to your friends. If you're not comfortable to show your IP to your friends, you can go into something called free. You can type in free DNS, 
This will also be in the description. You can use this uh, afraid 3 dnsafraid.org. You can log into your account and everything, and then you can add a new one, which you can uh, use whatever domain you want. I, I, I personally use moo.com. You can say what you want it to be called. Let's say I want it to be called Minecraft. And then destination, you put your thing. You put, you'll just grab from your no this into here and then just type in your thing you may need to make an account to do this by the way security code is wrong you're wrong qkl that is qklf don't get me wrong no it's not what is it then china but yeah you'll just do that and then you just grab this it's obviously wrong I and mean, then just put it into your normal thing and it should work so yeah that'll be the end of this tutorial and that's how you do port forwarding if you if you want to allow your friends to join if you're just doing local you can just do lo slash local you can just do, do local host and yeah that'll be the end of this video hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.